please excuse my mess here, but check this out. Is that not the sickest hat you've ever seen? That's like chrome. It's like embroidered. I mean, obviously it's not real chrome. It's on a hat, but it, that there on the back, it says simply the best, you know, because they are. Um, and then this pad here with a pen, this is skag on it. Notepad inside. There is another, oh, you can see that, skag pen there. And then a skag beer koozie, skag flashlight, a skag to go coffee mug, which came with this letter in this box. Hey, skag. And I'll tell you why. All right, so anyway, um, I wrote them a letter, told them how I bought the brand new Freedom Z last year, Zero Turn, and then how I bought the Tiger Cat this year, and bagging systems for both, and how over the years I've run just about every kind of mower there is, and then on top of that, um, I keep going back to Skag, no matter what I do, um, and... I am 100% dedicated to them now. They are the mower for me, without a doubt. And I just kind of just wrote them an appreciation letter, telling them how happy I am with them and how fantastic my dealer is um, and the great customer support I get. And they picked a great team to use as uh, one of the companies to sell their product. But just thanking them in general. Um, I didn't expect anything in return. I just wanted them to know from somebody in the industry that uses it all the time you know, this is the results I get, and this is what I think, and they sent me all that. I think that's pretty awesome that uh, it just goes even further to explain the way they are and how they like to take care of their customers. So, A-plus to them. So this bad girl is dirty. And the Freedom Z over there, yep, that's dirty too. They just, they've been working hard, so it is what it is. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys. So, I saw in the manual for this new mower... I'm going to try to show you guys this, if you can see it. I don't know if you can really see in there. Well, you can see the part of it hanging down, which is this part right here. Okay. Um, there's that part there. And then up there is the main part of the deck. Now, there's bolts. And there's settings in here. I'm trying to show you. It's kind of hard to see this. With this camera here like this. Um, but, here we go. Okay. So, in this... In this right here, this is the baffle, there's two settings, There's this is B and the next one up is A. And then there's four holes, one, two, three, four. Okay, and there's seven different configuration setups. You can set this to raise this whole baffle piece right here, up and down. Alright, it goes, if you can see, it's, it's really hard to show you guys what I mean. But it goes the whole length of the deck in front, and it raises it up and down, how far the baffle sticks up or down. And like I said, seven different settings. Now, in the manual, it will tell you where to put that baffle, depending on the type of cutting you're doing. I never really thought nothing of it, and for, I don't know, I've had this thing almost a month now. Um, I figured... You know, not even a month. I've had about three weeks, maybe three weeks. Anyway, um, I figured, you know, I'll mess with it, and I'll, I'll see what it's all about and see how much it can really change. Well, let me tell you something. There, The setting I put it on said it's more for, like, leaf pickup, so it would be better with the bagger, uh, so to speak. What I did was... When I mow, the one thing that drives me crazy, uh, when you're mowing over leaves, when they start flipping up over the top of the front of the deck and then they all build up up there and up around the spindles, that drives me crazy. And then instead of them getting, you know, pulled under the deck and chopped up, mulched up and thrown out, you still got all these big leaves all over a yard. Um, and even when I'm running the bagger system with the blower on the side, it still flips a bunch up. It's called blowout. Um, and that drove me crazy. Well, just to mess around with it, last night I put that baffle all the way down in the lowest setting. Uh, and I mowed with it today, not with the bagger, just regular mowing. And every I pulled up to some leaves where they're like two, three inches like out in front of the deck. And I stopped and I watched the leaves get sucked up under the deck from in front of the mower. I'm not even kidding. They sucked it right up under the deck. Um, and even when I was cruising, a lot of times the faster you go... Um, as you're coming up to them, it pushes them away off to the side or pushes them up over the front of the deck. Nope, it just kept sucking them right up under the deck. Pretty awesome. So it definitely eliminated that problem. 
and uh, <clears throat> it's pretty amazing. But what I'll do is, I'm gonna close this up. What I'll do is I'll show you guys a picture and it'll show exactly what I mean and what it, how it tells. It's a picture out of the manual. It'll tell what the settings are. Um, and you can read the little description in there. I'll try to make the picture as clear as possible. And it'll show what the settings are for the different types of grass you're cutting. But if you guys have that, I guess a lot of uh, manufacturers now, um, different mowers have that adjustable baffle in them like that. I've never seen it, but that's pretty sick. Um, definitely awesome. If you have it on your mower, I'd, I'd play around with the different settings. You'll be amazed what it'll do. All right, check this out. All right, guys, this picture didn't come out very well. You probably can't see it that well, but if you look through the Skag Tiger Cat manual, I believe it was page 24 or something like that, you can look this up and see exactly what I'm talking about. This is what the page will look like when you look it up. You guys definitely have to check this out if you have that adjustable baffle on your mower.